Hello there guys and welcome, it's Otto once again and um, what I've got for you right now is a bit of a well, the Minotaur game for you it's probably not the best you've seen but it's just something that I wanted to sh show and uh, get out there for you um, so Minotaur, the tier 10 British cruiser we've got the Republic on the enemy team which is tier 10 French battleship Missouri over there a couple of Serpents, Des Moines, Minotaur and Zhao um, New Orleans as well with Radar and Lo Yang little pesky little thing so we're on Islands of Ice, we've got A, B and C cap. At the moment I thought it was going to go around on A, but it looks like the team's more concentrated on C and B, which is absolutely fine on this particular map. Um, but I just thought I might be able to get the cap in myself. So what I decided to do at this point really, I'm thinking about actually changing back over. So we are going to basically put a turn in towards B. Um, someone's obviously seen the chat, someone's stating point. An iPad, you're not growing out of that yet. <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Boy forever, it says. Well, <laughs> everything ends for at some point, I'm sure. Um, so what I'm going to do now at this point then, guys, is swing over to B, like I mentioned. If you look at this point on, we've got five turrets that fire um, only AP shells in this. It's a very, very high gun arc in that sense, in terms of its uh, shell trajectory. But it can be devastating on the broadside, battleship, cruisers, things like that, you know. Um, but the thing is, if when you're in smoke, you can get yourself hit and devastated very quickly indeed. Because you're firing that fast, people can see your traces in the smoke, you're giving them a location. Because you're firing every so, so many seconds in that sense, you're giving them that, that location in your smoke. So I would fire a couple of sh shots from the front, a couple from the back and just slow it down, speed it up, whatever you want to do remember to keep on moving in the smog in that sense um, the thing is at this point, I've just been hit, I'm receiving some incoming fire they've already obviously marked me up um, in terms of the last position I was seen and the general thing people do is like in the right click button and then just hold it there and then fire, you know um, so as you can see the cap's on test, we only have 6 seconds to go well then with anything 6 seconds to go to cap it um, which, well, <laughs> it was very close, we actually got in there and capped and then held it off, you know. Um, so, Kagero's out there as well, he's come out with some get some spotting going. The Shimmer's here as well, and we're going to drop a couple of shots on him as well at this point. Um, but I don't think we do much damage at this point with the end of that I've got. Um, so we seem to be not giving him enough lead or just not hitting him right at this point, so we decided to give up on him anyway. Um, and we're going to have a couple more tracks and we'll swing over to the Turpits in that sense. Um, so Turpits broadside to me right now is on 10.8 km away, 10.7 km. Um, so we decided to put a couple on him. We do take little chunks off him, so we actually get it marked on correctly with the right amount of lead. Um, but as you can see, getting this type of lead, if you're using the uh, the normal scope in that sense you have to practically use half of your screen or um, the full length of the screen and shoot to uh, aim at the person so you've got to look and just look at the front of the ship the bow in that sense and get a general idea on which way the location is going to be going if you're going to put a turn in or not you know um, so it can be quite tricky but you can also use the uh, the advanced um, aiming system which is obviously uh, you go to your settings in game you go to um, crosshairs and you can click on your dynamic one guys if you want to reduce that as well but I've, dynamic's not for me because i've played the game that long now i've, I've kind of just got used to one particular um, crosshair kind of thing and i don't use the dynamics at all but it can be fairly decent to use so what i'm going to do guys drop a couple of talks here across on b um, because I feel that we might actually hit something potentially um, and just deny them very kind of thing as, as some of you might do that yourself as well. So we know the New Orleans is there. We think about a struck a couple of shots on them at this point on. It wasn't my my original intention to sit here and smoke and do the damage, you know, but we just did what we did. So as you can see my torps are out there at the moment, the Shimmer's look is going to take a top or something here. He's trying to manoeuvre to get away from it, and he's the camera around here for you. 
but we actually just get him right in the middle of the ship and just put that turn in. But look at me, it's actually flooding out here as well, so I'm still getting damage, and there he is. Devastating strike, which it's, it's nice to get that. Um, I kind of got lucky. I would say I kind of feel sorry for the uh, Shimmer, but then again, it could have done a lot of damage if he was still alive in the game, so we, we, we're happy with that, we're happy with that, I think. Um, so I was here as well. We're going to drop a couple of sh uh, shells on him as well. Well, I say a couple, it's like a bit of a shower. Um, you ever been shot by one of these uh, during the battleship and you're either backing up or going forward you, you know you can lose quite a lot of your health, especially if you broadside then you lose chillings. Um, so the Iowa is actually broadside to me right now, um, which the damage that we're going to get could be okay at this point. It's 1,000, 3,000, things like that, but it is going to get 6,000, 5,000 a salvo as long as you're hitting right as well, you know, you can get a little bit more than that as well. Um, so the Ripple looks out there as well, he's long distance shooting, which granted that ship should be doing that as well, because it's very good in that respect to do that. But we've got a sail here now broadside as well. Um, so we're trying to get a little bit water light, but with this type of gun arc, you're lucky to you get water light anyway. Um, but we're kind of do, trying to do a bit of much, well, much of the damage we can on this person anyway, and try and uh, just give him a little bit of a... Um, a bit of a pounding if we could, you know, but it didn't work out too well. So, what I'm thinking about doing right now is, is just basically small dissipating. I'm thinking about moving off at this point, but it's a plan of attack. Our guys are pushing in around C, and we've got a couple of around the islands around B and C area. Their team obviously pulling back, so there's me and the Kagero here on B. So I'm pushing in at this point, but you know it's risky. Cyclone's inbound 8 kilometers away. We know the ships are going to be in range. So we've got to play it really careful at this point. So we get detected. It turns out it's a minute or just coming from around the island. So is I don't want to be going broadside against the person at this point, so we'll just rip it a bit. So we're gonna give him a couple of hits here. We've finally got a nice little set now, something to uh, to at least feel we've done some damage on him, you know. I would say a little, little chunks here and there. Um but he's gone again. The Kagero is no longer spotting, which is quite right, so you need to get out of there and defend yourself. But there is also, also a ship around here with radar as well. Uh, so you need to be careful himself. So, a couple more hits on the Minotaur at this point. Um, we've got his last location, so them shells hit him as well. At um, this point, I am really thinking is it worth for me to push in or not? Yet? Um, but we decided to. Uh, change a little bit and, and actually go for it. So you're sitting there, we're going to push in. But I know the ship on the map that you can see um, is coming my way, so I drop the tops in advance, okay? Um, we, I was hoping for a nice big strike at this point, but it's not a guarantee it's going to happen because the ship's moving towards me. As you can see, it's a down. So he's put himself a nice little turn in at this point. It's not going to be a dramatic amount of talk, but it could be if, if it's hit it right. But as you can see, this about to twitch yourself a little bit to the right turn to turn into the top, so you could already know the bear. Um, so this is the top view here at this point. Sorry for the shaky guys, but that's what it's like when you're watching Wild Free Plays. Um, there it is, we've got one top in, a little bit of flooding. We've got another top in something else. I don't know what the ship is, but we've got the top in and that as well, okay? It could be a turpit, it could be something else entirely, okay? Um, the guys don't really look happy because we're not really pushing through, but then our guys was going to lose this game and have played smart and hid behind the island. And we've made the little push around here to, to stress out the enemy and make them look at two different directions at once. Granted, I'm not the strongest ship to do this, but it's something that needed to be done. Um, so we've got 107,000 damage at the moment and still flooding out on something at this moment in time. I think it's the now that's still flooding. Um, which is... I think it just, yeah, it's still flooded actually. So what we're going to do at this point is drop a couple more shells on him while he's there. As you can see, yeah, he's still flooded. Um, he's on 4,000 health and dropping down. And hit again, he's got 855 and 532 there and he's gone. So we've got liquidated that for that and that's the of the flooding which is uh, great as well. Because he had a lot more health than what I did to start off with and I'm sure that he could have probably wrecked the Minotaur without a doubt. If he got good hits on me, I could have either got Citadel a couple of times and just been deleted, so we, we, we kind of did alright with that one. Got lucky, I'd say. 
Um, so, as you can see, there's DDs around there around the island, but then there's also a New Orleans here. He's just been radar in it, and now he's spotted. He's got a bit of an angle on me, um, a bit of a broad side here, and he's turned into me. But I don't think I can do that much damage here because of the AP shell, and I'm just not hitting him right. I think he's just too much of a bit of a panic at this point. I take a big hit there, without a doubt, I it out. It might not be from the New Orleans, it might be from the New Orleans. New Orleans. Um, there is a bit of a shot as well. So he's definitely got the adrenaline rush on there for his uh, guns. So I finally take him out as well, which it was an absolute nightmare to actually get that damage on him. He just bounced on the thing he just wasn't the best. So I get the spotting plane out of the way. We don't want to be in all the time. The Loyang's here as well. He's definitely dropped all of me at this point. Without a doubt, I'm sure he has. So, what we're going to do at this point is keep on picking the best we can, move out the way, just move out the way from the top. There they are, um, but they are very slow tops, so I've got the speed to actually get away from these as well and uh, not cause too much stress and alarm. But this guy, you know, I'm on that much low health. If he hits me at any point properly, I could be dead from this, without a doubt. So, there's a Minotaur that's still alive, so I just send, I send a couple of tops there just in case, and I've got the other one, I'll send them in a second route here. I don't know his true location and which way he's going to be going. The last position mark on the map. So I'm going to speed it now, guys. I want to get away from this guy anyway. Because I ain't got the health to be doing much. I'm still getting shot by this low yang here at this point. Um, so I'm going to basically uh, swing around him and see what I can do. So we've lost B cap. The Minotaur's there, he's got nothing left at all. The guy just took him out, I didn't get to kill him at all. So I'm speeding back up now to go back into the into B at this point. We know we've lost the other cap, which is on A. And the destroyer as the Lo Yang has capped it in that sense. So we're going to take a time, drop a couple of tops here. Um, and we're going to try and get this uh, in as well, this cap. But obviously if he comes around this corner and shoots me at any point, I'm dead. Well, you know it, I know it, everybody would know it. But luck would have it. At this moment in time, I actually managed to get the cap in without him coming through and spotting me and shooting me, and that's pretty much me over and done with. So, I've got an idea it could be coming from the left or the right, if I'm not too sure which way it's coming from, but I'm detected right now. I'm looking left, I'm looking right, but then I've got a feeling he is a bit more to the left hand side. So, there he is, guns are fired, I've found him, I've sent the shots in, a couple of, sal couple of salvos there. And that's him done. 3,100 for the first day, and then we get to kill him at this point on. So we got four kills in that, which, to be honest, <laughs> there were a lot of big hitting ships in the very open map for the Minotaur. And granted, I shouldn't have been shouldn't have been where I was, but the team played well, and we pulled it back. But that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. I'm, I'm trying to get a better video for you within the Minotaur, but I do appreciate you watching this video once again. And if you don't mind, press that subscribe subscribe button and I will try and keep up some more content and try and improve my content for you all okay okay guys so thank you for viewing I appreciate it and I'll catch you the next time guys see you later